during the um, the conference we saw also something I saw something interesting uh, single session therapy with a uh, family with uh, a member of the family uh, a psychotic member of the family uh, single session therapy in different cultures single session therapy with children and adolescents and for this problem and this other problem in a clinical setting and in a, a working setting uh, did you um, did you thought 30 years ago that single session therapy uh, um, had this future in front uh, and do you think that we need something else today for the development of single session therapy. I, I just recall that the, um, the symposium was single session thinking going mm -hmm. global one step at a time. Um, I certainly did not e expect to see something like this conference because when Michael and Moshe and I first presented our work, we were soundly attacked. Uh, you're, you're not giving people what they need, you're just trying to save money, which we always said, if people need or want more therapy, we'll provide it. But uh, people were very close to the idea. So it's, it's very nice to see people open to it and to see it spreading into other places. I think what single session therapy needs and probably the field of therapy in general needs, is taking therapy out of the clinic setting and reaching people where they are. There's a, a huge need. A lot of people are in distress. The, one of the things I got from the conference which excited me was the idea of uh, possibly offering single session therapy in libraries. And I thought, oh, for students in university, what could be better? For homeless people who often, in the United States at least, use libraries, what would be a good setting? And we're going to be offering therapy through the internet. Um, we're going to be offering therapy at work settings. Um, we, we need to rethink uh, where and how therapy occurs because um, change is happening all the time. The question is where and when and how to uh, take advantage yeah. of it. When we were in the hotel in Melbourne, uh, we were talking to the concierge about which restaurant to go to and he said, oh, what are you doing here? And we mentioned we're here at a psychology conference and he told us about a personal problem in his family and some people had died and we were sympathetic and we assured him, well, of course you would feel sad and somewhat shaken given a number of people have died. It was um, therapy at the concierge desk. Yeah. Uh, and a friend of mine and I once, uh, and other people have done this too, therapy in a taxi. You're talking to the taxi driver or the person next to you on the airplane or the train. Uh, traditionally, people, my understanding is, you would have a problem, you would go to the shaman or the priest or the healer or the wise woman or the wise man, and you would have a session, and you would have a meeting. You might prepare yourself, purify yourself, get ready. And you did not expect, I'll go every week on Tuesday at 10 o'clock for six months or six years. No, I'm going to go and have an encounter and something They will give me ideas, I will give me inspiration, and I will work with it and take it and go. I know when I have a problem, I oftentimes one of my friends will say, hey, let's go for a hike, or let's go for a walk, or let's go have lunch. And, you know, some we just talk, and then I'll say, you know, something I want to ask you about, or what should I do with this? Now, sometimes it's something I might want to talk to a professional about, but a lot of times I think it's friendship, it's communication, it's sharing, it's reassurance. Uh, we also now live more in a do-it-yourself culture. We make our own airplane reservations. We, some of us read the manual and figure out how to make uh, the machines work in our house. Uh, so people have more of the idea, if I can get some information and some encouragement, I can uh, take the ball and run, as we would say in English. I can handle this. I can go with it. Uh, in, uh, 
Jerome Frank, a well-known uh, writer, he said, could it be that therapists are more interested in therapy than patients? You know, we want to, as Bob was saying, I want to be the center of it. I want to be the guru and wise and important. And they couldn't make a change without me. And it is something of a blow to realize. Uh, maybe a little light touch. I added something. I was helpful. But mostly people, they heal themselves. They change themselves. They work on their own stuff. Uh, and so I think a lot of what single session therapy is, is saying there's this naturalistic process, this thing that happens, people making changes, and we try to facilitate that rather than we are at the center of it and we, it's because of us, it's not because of us, we're more the, uh, um, the facilitator, we're, we're the, the setting and we, we help people with it, but we're not the one doing it. Uh, and that's, that's a change from uh, I'm going to be the wise person that makes things happen for people. Um, piggybacking on that, yeah. so you know I'm a, a Zen practitioner and teacher and there's a Zen koan that I really like. Uh, it says, health and sickness subsume each other. They, health and sickness are two sides of the same coin. Health and sickness complete each other. The next sentence, the whole world is medicine. Mm -hmm. And the last sentence, what is your true self? When you can approach the whole world as medicine, so that every person you encounter and everything you encounter is your teacher and you're its teacher, uh, this is a major transformation. The problem is people keep looking for the teacher, the answer, everywhere except uh, where they need to really look, yeah. which is <laughs> to their immediate experience. So. The task of a therapist is to be a, a midwife. Imagine if midwives said, oh, nine months is not long enough for your pregnancy. Yeah. I'm a really good midwife. I think we can make the pregnancy go longer. <laughs> Just a, little, a few months longer and your baby will be so much bigger and it will be better when it comes out of the womb. <laughs> this would not be so good, would it? Yeah.